welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Larissa L, and you are on my YouTube channel, Parker Kate, where I feature beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. And in today's video, if you haven't read the title, obviously you probably have by now, I'm doing a review of the new, the new highlighter in Pillow Talks. If you want to see what my review and my thoughts are on this little guy right here, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so before we jump into today's video, I just want to let you know I have a very matte base on. So the blush that I use has no shimmer. It's a matte pink. It's actually this one right here from KKW Beauty. It is called Flower Wall. Just because we were going to be trying out a highlighter, I wanted to keep the face very matte. I also went in with the Born This Way foundation, concealer, and then I set everything with my MAC Studio Fix um, powder, which is a very matte powder as well. But I'm just going to show you what the blush looks like. That is the KKW Beauty Flower wall blush now this blush was featured in her anniversary her miss west collection which actually just restocked so check out her website if you're interested in the blush or the whole collection i'm also wearing the lip bundle from the miss west collection today as well anyways guys let's go ahead and take a look at this so woo, paper everywhere okay so we get this pretty little box. This is the packaging. This is the Easy Wand Highlighter in Pillow Talk. I didn't get Pillow Talk Medium because I wanted to keep it really light for this video. So this is definitely probably geared towards more somebody from a very fair to a medium skin tone. And then if you want a color that's, then if you want a color that is more intense, more like golden undertone, probably more for the medium to darker tones, go ahead and pick up the medium intense shade. But I just have the original Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk. Anyways, let's slide it out of the bottle. Ooh. So, very pink, very metallic, very rose gold. Comes in a squeeze tube applicator with a little cap. Now, let's see how many milliliters of product you get in here. It does not say. To the box. So, you get 12 milliliters or 0 0.40 fluid ounces, which is okay. I mean, for what the price, I expected a little bit more. Um, a product from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's not bad. So this product does retail for $50 Canadian. So I'm going to go ahead and read the little back for you. It says, twist to open, gently squeeze product, then apply with cushion applicator. So I guess it has a cushion applicator. So let's go ahead and open this. Ooh. So that's what the applicator looks like. I'm not a really big fan of these applicators. I'm not a really big fan of these applicators just because they're a little bit annoying, but whatever. Let's squeeze and see what comes out. And I'm squeezing and nothing. Okay. Is it like a cap? Oh, it's a twist. So you've got this little tiny, I'll do a close up. One says on and one says off. And I guess you twist it. And you can see that it, the little cap pops up just a tiny bit right there. I'm going to zoom you guys in because obviously you can't see that. Now, let's squeeze. Really squeeze. Oh, I'm seeing some saturation. There we go. So I don't know if you guys can see, that's the color. Now, I'm just gonna take a little bit with my finger. So it's a very metallic formula. And we're gonna swatch this on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like. Very similar to the Pillow Talk lipstick. It does have some rose gold in it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out because I wanna see the shimmer. So it blends out really nicely, but it still retains that pink hue, but it almost dissipates. So it's a very natural looking highlighter. This is not gonna be one of those highlighters from space. This is a very natural pink flush, like you just went for a jog or you have a natural glow. No, I'm not pregnant. You have a natural kind of glow. I can tell you right off the bat that you're gonna get a lot of product from squeezing this. So you want to make sure you squeeze very, very little, and then you can just kind of dab it on using the applicator. But for me, I'm actually going to take a damp beauty blender and then apply it to my cheekbone, and then I will use the applicator for the other side. So first I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to kind of wipe off the remnants. And I'm going to take my little compact here and turn towards you guys. And I'm just going to start applying that right on top of my powder, which you normally shouldn't apply a cream product on top of a powder, but we'll see how this works. Actually, it's really nice. It's not taking away any of my foundation and it's sitting on top really nice. It's giving very natural. It's a very natural glow. I don't know why I just did that, <laughs> sorry. 
And then I'm also going to bring it up. I always bring my highlighter up in a C so it catches the light. So I would start from probably about mid-brow and I kind of curve it around my cheekbone. It's completely up to you how you like to apply powder or your highlighter. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. So this is the side with no highlighter and this is the side with highlighter applied with a damp beauty sponge. So it's very, very natural looking, especially when you use a damp beauty blender. Beauty blenders will absorb a little bit of the product, so it's going to go on more sheer and more natural. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the applicator on this side of my face. So again, I'm going to just use the tiniest little squeeze because I don't want a ton of product. Very little. Okay. So I've got a little bit of product. You can actually see that the product comes out from the bottom as well. So just be careful when you're squeezing it. And make sure you're just squeezing it face up and you're watching where the product is coming out of. Now, we're going to go and apply. I have no highlighter on this side. This is just my uh, natural doingness. And I'm going to start by just using the applicator. And I'm just going to go in a C. Like I said before, you do get a lot of product that comes out of this. So just a tiny little squeeze and you probably just need to use your finger honestly I don't think you need to use the entire applicator because it's dispersing a lot of product now to blend that out you can use a brush I'm gonna go in with my fingers because I want to see what it looks like with the full impact so I'm trying not to take away any of the product and I'm just gonna blend that out Okay, so because I have a lot of pink undertones naturally in my skin, like I'm neutral, but neutral warm, so I'm a little bit more towards the pink side of my neutrals than the yellow tones, which means something like this, like a pink-based highlighter, is going to probably look a little bit more natural on my skin tone versus somebody who has a lot of yellow undertones. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and order the next color, the more bronzy pink color, so you see it more, because this is, again, very, very fair. But you can see the side right here where I use my fingers and the applicator. You retain a lot more of the pigmentation on the color, I can definitely tell it's pink. It's um, very, very. Oh, you see all my <laughs> my lovely little pimples there. It's a lot more pigmented than this side, where it's a lot more sheer and blend out. So if you want a bit more of intensity from a very light, natural highlighter, go ahead and use your fingers and the applicator to blend it out. If you want something that's a little bit more natural, like this side, kind of like it's your skin but better, then go ahead and use a damp beauty blender when you're applying this product. Again, just be really careful when you are squeezing out the product because it does give out way, it gives out way more product than what you actually need. So I'm just going to go make this side a little bit more even. And I'm just going to blend it out with the Damp Beauty sponge. As you can see, I made that a lot more natural by blending it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this to the rest of my face. And I'm just going to use my finger for that. And I just want the smallest amount. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to tap this on the tip of my nose. A little bit on the bridge. Now this is something you probably couldn't use in the inner corner or underneath the brow bone. I mean you can but it would look more like a natural flush than an actual highlighted product. Okay so so far I'm pretty impressed with this product. Again this is not for somebody who's looking for a very highlighted unnatural highlighter. This would probably be really pretty on brides. This would be really nice if you have a little bit of a tan or if you just want a little bit of a glow. Go ahead and give this guy a try. I really like how it's looking so far. It's very natural. There's no like chunks of glitter, chunks of gold in it. It's just a, just a pretty color overall. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get into some drugstore dupes like I do in all my videos. So what I have right here, this is the L'Oreal True Lumi Match. This is a liquid glowing highlighter. It's a face primer and highlighter together. So you can wear this underneath your foundation and on top of your foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to swatch this to see if it's going to look anything like the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand in Pillow Talk. Now this one is in the color for neutral undertones. Does this say the color? This is in the color N201 Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dab a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And already it comes out very, very similar. On this side, I've already applied previously the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And I'm just going to use my fingers and I'm just going to blend out the, the L'Oreal True Match. 
Okay, so the L'Oreal True Match retains more of the pink color, but it still blends out very, very beautifully. You will see this more than you will see the Pillow Talk once it's blended out. But it's still very, very subtle. They have very similar neutral undertones. They have that rose gold shimmer to them. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit darker than the Pillow Talk that you're going to see a little bit more, then go ahead and give the L'Oreal, um, then go ahead and give this L'Oreal highlighter a try. As you can see, like it's very similar. So again, the more pinky one is the L'Oreal. And then the lighter one, the more natural glowy one, is the Charlotte. So now we're going to get into my final thoughts about this Pillow Talk Beauty Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. Let's talk about the packaging first. So you get a squeeze tube with a cap and an applicator. Now the applicator can be turned on or off just by twisting the lid, which is a really nice feature. Especially if you throw this in your purse and something heavy lands on it and then it's... So that kind of is an extra little safety feature that's really nice. You get 0 0.40 fluid ounces in this, which is a little bit small for the price point. I think you should get a lot more, like maybe 30 milliliters. I know I'm asking for a lot, but because this is a very sheer formulation, and when you do squeeze it, you do get a lot of products, you're going to go through this pretty fast if you don't have a light hand when you're trying to disperse the product from the applicator tube. Now the formulation of this is very beautiful. It blends out very nice. Again, this is going to be a very subtle, natural glowing highlighter with some pink rosy undertones. This is not a very intense see it from space. It looks more natural than something that you would put on with a powder. Now if you want to get more pigmentation out of this, go ahead and apply a little bit with the applicator to your desired spots and then blend it out with your fingertips. That way you'll get a lot more pigmentation and it'll be a lot more brighter. If you want to have a very subtle look, a very natural glow, go ahead and diffuse the product with a damp beauty sponge. Now there is no chunks of glitter in this, there is no crazy colors. You do get a very beautiful tinted rose gold highlighter. It's very very similar to the Pillow Talk lipstick. It's just a lot more sheared out which makes it really nice to wear especially if you want something that's a lot more like I said before natural looking now if you do like this but you don't like how sheer it is and you want something like this then go ahead and grab the dupe for this the L'Oreal true match in 201 rose from the drugstore this is a lot more pink but it has the same type of formulation where if you blend it out enough with a damp beauty sponge you can probably get it to look very very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury but if you want it to stay more pink then go ahead and apply this with your fingers and then blend it out and you're actually getting more product in the, the L'Oreal one. You're getting 0.67 fluid ounces or 20 milliliters. Now, I don't know if this product is still available in drugstores. I'm pretty sure it is. But you can also use this as a primer underneath your foundation. You can mix this in your foundation or you can put it on top as a highlighter as I did. Now when I apply this to my skin today, I was already wearing foundation and powder. And usually when you put a cream product or a liquid product on top of powder, sometimes what can happen is it can break up the powder and look a little bit patchy. But when I applied this on top, it actually didn't do that, which is very nice. It's actually very moisturizing. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. Um, so I'm really impressed with the formulation of this. Now I haven't tried this one on top of powder, so I'm going to say probably test it out before you're going to wear it out anywhere just to make sure it's not going to break up your foundation and that it blends in nicely. Now do I recommend that you guys go out and go ahead and get this for yourself. So if you are a Charlotte Tilbury lover, if you collect Pillow Talk, and if you love her light wands because it's very natural, it's very glowy, and you do like a very subtle, natural, dewy glow, then go ahead and pick this up. If you're somebody who wants a really super intense pigmented glow, then you're probably going to want to skip this and actually get the drugstore version. So those are my final thoughts and my first impressions on the Pillow Talk Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to check out my playlist and I'll link down some videos below because I have a huge playlist on Charlotte Tilbury products themselves and first impressions and reviews. Now if you have any further requests for any videos as far as makeup, fashion, lifestyle, please leave a request down below in the comments and I'll be sure to go ahead and film that for you. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.